on both sides of the ball. Cavaliers in the regular season last year, three games to one. They won the regular season. But Indiana had an impressive win here in Indianapolis with four in double figures. 20 plus, they run the alley oop, and Obi Toppin got it from Bruce Brown. I'm telling you, you just throw it up anywhere near the back of the, the backboard, and he can go get it. Guarding Donovan Mitchell, he had a pair of 40 point games last year at home against the Pacers. Oh my goodness, this kid has learned to take. Seven-footer, 215 pounds. Halliburton drives underneath the basket and scores. He beat Wade to the hoop. And Halliburton has his first points to Gamebridge Fieldhouse. Mitchell, he throws it away. Get it Take up. It. There you go. Nice job. Topping through his legs. <laughs> that tomahawk dunk. He's had two dunks to start, one to start the game. Here's Matherin again. This time, though, Mitchell scores. And the Pacers out in front, 15-9. Mitchell crossover, long three, got it. Donovan Mitchell again. They're in a zone, and they have been in a zone since they've come out. And nice job in reading it by Halliburton. Believe it or not, you're able to drive a zone. You can't ask for much more. Strew stays on the floor. He drives in and wraps it up, and Mobley throws it down. Because Struess is at the rim. Miles has got to come. He takes him inside and throws it out to top it. Turner spins with a left hand. What a move against Mobley. And at the last minute, Mitchell was able to get his hands on Halliburton. Got it, and he's open again. Nobody can get down the floor at that size. Halliburton spins against Levert. Ah. Levert. That ball hit Donovan Mitchell in the back, and he didn't know it. And nobody for the Pacers got back. And Levert throws it down. Five for Indiana. And there's another one, a sixth, as it's taken away from Matthew. Yeah, the problem is he's a live turnover by the Pacers. And Levert yeah. cashes in. That's why Rick Carlisle is taking a timeout. T.J. McConnell on the floor. Andrew Nemhard, his first appearance in the preseason, was out with a kidney stone. That ball slapped away. Ty Jerome got it. Fifth year out of Virginia. Right through the hands of Levert. Here's a four on two, and then Buddy threw it away. It was intended for Neesmith. Yeah, he threw it off of one left-handed shot. That's all. Oh, I thought that was going to be off. That's Niang. Roger. Neesmith. There you go. Nemhard blocked oh, by effort. Levert. Blocked again, a Coro and a shot clock violation. They challenge shots, they have some length. Ooh, boy, I'm telling you, that's a Jalen Smith got fooled on that one a little bit. Jalen Smith got fooled on that one a little bit. McConnell quickly up the floor. Out to Buddy for three. Get him. The buzzer healed, hits the three. Damian Jones for the first time. He wears number 30. That's a cross-court pass to Coro. Now to Levert. And Levert put it in. The problem is, you know, with that ball that's moving around. Niang lets it fly and hits again. Damian Jones, the offensive rebound. Skip pass to Coro for three. That's that second chance. He got to get back. Running. Yeah, got to get back. And Levert the basket and a foul. I mean, they are really converting from one end to the other. I expect this group to be a little bit more cohesive because they play together more. What a terrific pass. What a terrific assist there. No, he, would, he wouldn't have looked for the pass last year. What he's becoming is a more rounded player, which is one of the things the staff at Pacers five starters on the floor. Struess and Mitchell have returned for Indiana. Halliburton hits a shot, and it's a three. Matherin with the rebound. Halliburton runs front court in four seconds. Toppin for three. The other side of his game in that left corner. Then they played a year ago, and again they've added the shooters in Struess and Niang. Halliburton blocked it, and a foul is That's at a take yeah, No doubt it is a take foul. That is a take foul. Yeah. Sit down the floor. He's the lone big. No Jared Allen. He spins hey. and missed it. Tried to dunk it over Turner. Here's Toppin. The defensive end. Mitchell. Good time. Yeah, you, you, you gotta get, I thought that Halliburton was going to get back there. 
And they work through it. Let's see if they, they run the play. Very good patience. Brown in and out. Oh, back in. To be able to get a clean shot by Brown. Bruce Brown was 0 for 7 from 3 in his first two preseason games. As Mitchell has points 8 and 9. Yeah, for real. He's got to... This, this is this is a new Matherin, and this that that style of play is something he's got to learn to be. I mean, and he will exactly the play he just made, and that that'll keep him on the floor. First three games, he's averaged 14 points per game in the preseason. Mobley, strong move. Mobley and Allen. The other part, Chris, he, he, he's older, so he's he's starting to get man strength. Chance for four for Buddy Heald as Mobley got him. Did not go behind. Mitchell in the air. Got it. Still an offensive rebound. And the reason it needs to speed up because it, it's too easy for Cleveland to find what they want on the on the defensive end. Because they've got firepower. Levert, baseline jumper. Barely hit the rim. Another rebound for Toppin, his eighth. Tyree Show go lays it in. Brown's not going to try to beat. Yeah, that's right. He's not going to try to beat Mitchell. He's going to have to beat Mobley. Great cut. cut. Great cut. Basically, because that play had broken down, and and um, Top Toppin saw the opportunity to go to the basket. So he's starting to find the rim a little bit. He is. He's on a two-way contract. Stop and go, Mitchell. Oh. Oh, Mitchell created all the contact with the exception of Toppin. Here's Mitchell Ooh. again. Ooh. Donovan Mitchell having the best game of his preseason. He did not play in their last game. Tied at 73 and a half to play. Third it back. There you go. They got to get in. <laughs> They're over here, you know, because Buddy Alba said that that's what he was going to do. Mitchell got it himself. Yeah. yeah, they were pounding their fists. They knew when Buddy launched that it was good. He, but Buddy told them what, it, what what play to run. He was telling them which way play that they needed to run. You just you got to go up and shoot it. Because it dribbling is one of the things he worked on. Ball handling was important. Scoots finding the range. Acora, shot clock at two, drives and put it in. Whoa. And that's because you don't have Miles Turner. In it. He this, loves going inside. Yeah, this is the group the Pacers need to shut down because they don't really have a guy that can score that that well there. Nice block. There. Shot clock at five. Block Rocky by Heal. Buddy Heal getting the block. Pacers run. Oh, great, great five. He traded because he had not had rhythm in the preseason. Buddy he got it now. Six of it. them. Yeah, you can see he's got his rhythm. Because he was struggling with the second unit because when he was about to be open, not when he was open, because he, from there, sets himself up to make shots. And Niang answers on the other end. Jerome, Isaiah Mobley, and Amani Bates. And Jerome inside. No, the Warriors can't get beat that easy. Laura started games last year. That's how deep this team is. Nemhard lets it fly for three. So he's get, he'll get more strength. Merrill left open. You know, it does feel like a regular season game with War. His challenge is he's trying to find minutes. Walker goes inside and scores. He looked as though he wanted to throw that behind. That number 24. Porter. Okay, you. That's what you don't know about Porter. Porter has some rise. About eight of the Pacers were <laughs> up on the floor. As Shepard's able to get his hands on that one. And Shepard throws it down. He's got three people. Yeah. I mean, effectively. And I mean people you can put on the floor and have confidence that they're going to make plays. Highly entertaining.